Brim, double three nine one. I've been in Brim all my life. Been around the district about 28 years. Born and raised in Brim. It's a typical Victorian town. And I've seen a lot of families leave. Yeah, we see when I can first remember there was a butcher and a baker and... There's no railways here. There's no postmaster. No railway gangers. The football club sort of fizzled out for lack of numbers. A lot of young people have left. Now there's not even a bloody school left in the town. Quite honourable, the people who live here and just want to keep that lifestyle going. Yeah, there's not many people around anymore and all the little farming communities are slowly going. Farming's one of those things that it'll always have its ups and downs. Just how it goes. Weather we've had in the last few years. Poor seasons and land got dearer. Big farmers are coming in and buying out the little farmers and you know the holdings are getting bigger and, and they just come in to their harvest and they're gone again. One thing I've always noticed is these giant silos. Interesting, like iconic and they're very symbolic of this lifestyle around here, this farming and part of the landscape now. What we have to wallow in at our pleasure in the sticks isn't disaster. My work's always about people and place and just what I think belongs. So I always kind of get drawn in. I thought it's important to honour this community and the beauty of it being such a small place. Communities have got smaller. They don't fall apart, they actually get probably stronger in a sense. They're smaller so you've got to actually work more and more together. It's a good culture to be around. With a great sense of belonging and family and... Everyone sticks together. Because I couldn't live down in the big smoke, to be honest. We've got a whole lot more to offer than just a farming town. I do believe in Brim. I believe that it'll last a long time with the community we have. Portraiture, it's like about capturing some identity. Not individual identity, but like broader community identity. There's nothing negative, there's nothing political, there's nothing complex about it. It's just, this is who we are, this is where we live. And I think that's beautiful. And Brim's always been home and always will be. Gives me grassroots. Well, what have they done with the silos? It's just amazing. Oh, the quality and the size, that's... Just brilliant. Other towns are already talking about the project. <laughs> People just stopping there now. There's always a car park. It's incredible. And such a great kind of positive feel about it now. We might actually start to get a bit bigger and have a, another diverse range of people come in. Who knows what's going to happen. There's so many people that think that once you get out of Melbourne, you fall off the edge of the earth. The world stops. And uh, let me tell you, the world just starts. It really does.